He told me... No, not it... he told... You called him and told him you were being held. I was being held. You, so that you had one phone call. Yes. And you didn't call your mommy or your daddy. No, I called you my attorney. You called him. No, ma'am. Who did you call? I called an attorney and he three-weighed him. And? And he agreed to do my PR bond for $2,000. I let him know that I had a debit card at my house where I lived with Randy, and I specified for Randy to take the $2,000 out of my account to pay the bond. Great. Okay. Lying. And instead of doing, shh, instead of doing that, he, he took it upon himself. He paid, him, paid himself. And so I was he, not involved in that second, phone call. Just a second. Okay. So you owe him the $2,000. What you should have done, if you have the debit card and you have the money right in the bank, what you do is you get out of jail and give him back the $2,000. Yes, so sir. why didn't you do that? When I asked him when I need to get it, he said, hold off. You have a lot to deal with. Get it to me when you can. Okay, now he wants it. $2,000. What yeah. else? What else, Mr. Meyerson? I've got tons. What? Just a second. You may have tons. Bills. I have Bills. no time. I'll, I'll you have, okay. you okay. have tons. I have no time. So okay, far, she owes you $2,000 okay. for her bail. Car was impounded. That would be your she problem. She was arrested for DWI. I don't care. Did you see the way I just said to you at the beginning of this process? You don't know somebody. You buy a car in your name with the express intention of that person who, that stranger, having possession of the car, and then the car that's in your name gets impounded. So what you have to do is you have to get it out of impound. That's your problem. Next time you'll be smarter. Next. Toll fees, $636. Toll fees she on your She was driving car. all over the country. On I had your no car, control in your over. car. Absolutely. You didn't take it back. I tried, police wouldn't help me. Ah. Uh, I, Police sorry, would do nothing. It's a civil matter. Sorry. Sorry. Car's in your name. She was living with you. Got toll fees. Take the car. Take the keys. Call the police. Say, that's my car. I want my car. Toll What's fees, next, toll Mr. Fees Meyerson? Were after she left. What? What? That you I booted taken her out up? after she assault, assaulted me. Great. She took the car because. Just a bit. Report it stolen. I tried. They said you can't uh, do you, that. Yes, you can. They told me I could not. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry that you've got a stupid policeman. Well, I'm sorry that you got a stupid, stupid policeman. Because I went to multiple police departments. I'm sorry that you got a stupid policeman. Next. Car payments. I made between July of 2015 through now. I made payments of $3,100. She paid me a total of $1,450. That would be your problem. You then made I've got nothing else you to submit, a, Your Honor. You made an arrangement. I have nothing more to submit. Great. You made an arrangement with her that she didn't have to pay anything on the car, $550 for rent, and you would take out the $350, leaving you with $200. That was your arrangement with her. Then you had a fight, and she was drunk and disorderly, and you threw her out of the house. And as well you should have. Well, then she couldn't pay you the $550, the $350 for the car. That's why I said in October of 2014, when she moved in, and eight weeks later, you obligated yourself to a total stranger to buy a car, put it in your name, give her the ability to drive around in it, unfettered, and make this fakakta arrangement with her rent for free. So she actually paid the same rent, and she not only had a roof over her head, but she had a new car and a roof over her head. Really, that's some deal. Well, that's what happens when you act like a jerk. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,000. We're done.